Hello good people, this is Sam here at She Does The Most and today we have a Dollar Tree haul. So I am going to begin with my new finds which is the St. Patrick's Day items. So I had a really funny moment with my mom while I was hauling these things because she was on the phone with me and she was like, are you at the Dollar Tree again? And I had to let her know while I was at the register that I don't have a Dollar Tree problem. I can stop whenever I want. I just don't want to stop. So if you also have a Dollar Tree problem, <laughs> please comment down below so that we can support each other through our addictions. So um, I didn't purchase that much for St. Patrick's Day. I really don't do any celebrations, but my daughter is in elementary school and they might do something for St. Patrick's Day. Um, also, if she doesn't wear green, she'll get pinched. And so I did find these two really cute sock options. This one has a gnome on each side with, I guess, pink cheeks, and he's holding a shamrock. And this one I thought was really weird, but it had some pink in it. So it's a cactus in a shamrock pot with a black hat on. So I guess that's a thing, but I thought these two were really cute options. Um, something else that I got was these LED string lights, and I was just going to use these for some videos. They do look a little yellow, but I mean, they're the shamrock pattern, so. Um, I also do have a short of me showing everything that they had for St. Patrick's Day at my store. So I will um, link that in the cards up above. So next for um, Valentine's Day, I found some options. This is not Valentine's Day. <laughs> but I did find this bunny accessory kit. And this was to take pictures of my daughter, our youngest little daughter. And I'm not sure, oh, she did have Easter pictures last year when we went to an Easter egg hunt, but I thought that this would be really cute to put her in a bunny tail, some ears. Um, I'm not sure what she's going to wear, maybe just a white onesie and some pink socks, and that'll be a cute Easter photo for her. She's one years old, by the way. And the reason that I am hauling them now, because any Dollar Tree aficionado knows that if you don't get the good things now while you see them, people will purchase them. And by the time Valentine's Day rolls around and Easter rolls around, you won't be able to find the items that you want. So I did end up picking up this comb, not because it was anything special, but I needed a wide tooth comb to detangle my daughter's hair. She has a lot of hair. It's really thick. It's really curly. It will turn into dreads in three hours of her having it out. And so we need all of the detangling combs that we can get. And then I wanted some neutral Valentine Day items, some for videos, some for decor in my office. Like you can tell from my desk and the items that I picked up, even my planner, like I've been really feeling the beiges. And so I purchased um, these two as a nice neutral option to kind of get away from the bright pink and reds of the holidays up. And it is not from the Dollar Tree, but they were dollar items. Um, I got these two from the Target dollar spot. I don't shop at Target often, definitely not often enough to do a haul. Um, but I also do have a short of the Valentine's section at Target. And I picked up these two options because this is self-love elixir. Who does not love that? Um, I can decorate this in my office or have it as a prop somewhere. Um, there are these two wine glasses that I plan on using for Valentine's Day. Also, um, two weeks before that is my wedding anniversary, so we can also drink out of these. Plus that it is a dollar, not even a dollar twenty-five. The reason that I even went to Target was because I was looking for the heart-shaped tea diffusers, and they didn't have any. I don't know if they didn't get them in or if they sold out already, but I am on the lookout for that. So that's why I stepped in there and picked up these two items. So moving right along, I got two items 
um, for my planner. These are little wooden picks. I'm not exactly sure what you do with this. This is in the gardening section, so I guess you would put it in a potted plant. But I thought that they would make good dividers in my planner. So my thought process was that they can simply just stick out and divide a section. And so I would use the bunny for Easter, of course, and then this one for spring, possibly. But it also adds the neutral touch, right? The light wood, the beige vibe that I have going on over here. And then also, when I buy things like this in packs of four or five, the kids also like to paint them, use them. This would be something that I can give my daughter as a bookmark. Um, you really have to do a lot of motivation <laughs> to get your kids to do certain things. So if I can make reading fun and interesting and decorative, that is a plus and another way that I can use these items. Another thing that I was going to use in my planner are these ceramic stickers. Now I have used these in my planner previously, they have stuck just fine, but I picked this one up because it is really neutral, just the black and white and gray. So you can add this to a spread without it being the typical bright, colorful, in your face Dollar Tree stickers. And speaking of colorful, in-your-face Dollar Tree stickers, <laughs> um, I did not see this one the last time I went. So I liked this jar, particularly um, the lips, this love part. For here, this is Mother's Day stickers. My favorite one was this one. Also, Best Mom Ever is not too bad. Um, I was looking at using this to do a pride spread, of course very on the nose but you don't have to use every single one of these items even this banner I don't know if you wanted to do a Cinco de Mayo spread but anything with a coffee cup is really going to get me I did haul this one about a year ago but I do like the different color um, hand prints and I like the skin tone colored hearts um, the B color blind label is a little problematic you can be inclusive and accepting of everyone without being colorblind. It's okay to see color um, and it's okay to celebrate color. So I thought that this one was really nice. Now, disclaimer, if this is not your aesthetic, if this is not something you love, I've said this in a previous video that you don't have to use everything. If you look at other sticker books, um, they're pretty pricey, especially if you're going to own more than one, two, three, four, five, ten of them. Like it gets really expensive. If you can purchase a pack of stickers because you like two items here, one item from here, it's going to be a lot more affordable, even if you don't use everything, because when you buy those other sticker books, you don't tend to love everything in there either. You're not going to use every single last sticker. Purchase this one for my husband's desk. I don't know if he will like it. It isn't necessarily his aesthetic. I don't know that he has any football things over there, but he does like football. And this wasn't something that I felt like was super glittery or crazy looking, you know. So I will hang it over there by his things and he probably won't even notice until he watches this video that this is over by his desk. Okay, so I was able to find three new sticker books. Now this is new to me, it might not be new to you, but it is to me. And so I liked this one initially because of this, I don't even know what this is, van? It looks like um, a 12 passenger van and we're going to be doing a road trip to Florida for our cruise in March. 
And so um, just based on that, I was just like, okay, I like that sticker. Um, I do like the color scheme of the rainbow and I can use these headphone stickers if I want to note in my planner um, a day that I listen to a podcast or anything particularly noteworthy. I've been listening to the How Married Are You podcast and they have great information and sometimes I will take notes on my phone but I can put this in my planner if I'm listening in my office and just jot down next to it something that they discussed, something that I wanted to come back to and so I thought that um, these headphones would be really useful. So as I go through the sticker book, I notice that the stickers tend to repeat, but they do change in sizes. And so here, this van is really small, but if you needed a bigger van, they do have it in that size as well. So they have different rainbows, bigger size hearts, um, lemons and pineapples and things like that that we can of course use all summer. And once again, my daughter, my oldest daughter in particular loves stickers. She puts them all over her water bottle, all over everything. And so she will definitely be using these. She also plays around with planning as well. So she can use this in her planner. Um, for this one, I liked the diamond, maybe because it wasn't the most bright, you know, colorful thing. Um, the big coffee, if you don't like this center part, you can always put another sticker over it and that can fit your theme of whatever you need it for. And so that is um, the planning things. Okay, next up is organization. And this is really hard to see. Let me scan out, but these are just some gray bins. I have these same bins in clear. Yeah, they're not white. I have these same bins in clear and we have a mom dresser from Ikea in the girls room and I use this in their drawers to separate smaller items. So we have a one-year-old and her clothes is very small and if you just throw everything into the drawer they tend to get all mixed up. So I have three of these I feel like fits in one drawer and I will have shirts, undershirts, socks, night clothes, pants separated and so they get to stay confined in their little area. In our older daughter's dresser drawer, we can sell, separate her socks from her underwear, um, little tank tops. Sometimes she has specialty things. So she's into cheer now. She may need a place to just put her cheer uniform, little shorts that go under her cheer outfit. When she was in soccer, she needed an area to put her um, away soccer uniform, home soccer uniform, her cleats, um, not her cleats, her those high socks her shin pads. So this is an area where that specific item can go in here and it doesn't have to be mixed in with all of her other clothes so that you can't find it when you need it. Another item that I was excited when I picked it up are these clear containers. I picked up four and two ideas that I had was to use this in my bathroom on top of my counter because I just have things everywhere and there's no countertop space and I will clear it off and still things will accumulate. So I can put my skincare items in here, um, some small hair things. I don't really have makeup out on the countertop, but if I did do makeup and I needed to put it somewhere really quickly, it can go in here and not just clutter the countertop. Another thing that I was going to use this for and how it is designed for is that this is a refrigerator storage bin. So I'm not going to put this in my fridge, but I was going to put this in my pantry. I purchased some similar clear pantry dividers or bins, and they were not that cheap. They were not $1.25, and they were a lot thinner, so you were very limited on what you can put in there. It was okay for kids' snacks, I guess, but this one can, um, it looks like it can hold a lot more, and so I was going to use this in my pantry. So this is really a high-end looking item from the Dollar Tree. I can't go to the container store and get any sort of useful organization because I wouldn't be able to afford it. I couldn't afford four different containers like this. And so I was really excited when Dollar Tree had them. I didn't want to go overboard and pick up like 10 of them. So I will start off with four and hopefully if I need more that they will still have it in stock. So I don't know if this is everyone 
But when the year starts, I think about organization and I think about my new year of gardening. So Dollar Tree has their gardening items out. I did do a short as well on everything they have in the gardening section at my store, but I purchased new gloves for myself and my daughter. Last year gloves, I'm sure that we have lost one. It has rained on it. Um, bugs have gotten into our bin and have carried it away. And so it is not a inconvenience to have to buy a new gardening glove every year if it is only $1.25. So I got one for myself and one for my daughter in case she wants to help me in the garden. And I hauled um, seeds in my last video. Let me get them. So these are some seeds that I hauled in my last Dollar Tree video. And these are the seeds that you typically see at the Dollar Tree. They're four for a dollar, great price. I've never had an issue growing any of these things. So the seeds do work and they work well. But I saw these new things. <laughs> And they're called Rocket Herbs. And at least the tomatoes are labeled organic. I don't see that the others are. But these, this is dill that I use for a lot of pickling recipes. And that um, I will hopefully be using this year to pickle my cucumbers. When I first saw this, I was just like, I have a lot of lavender seeds. I don't need this. But it's time. We are always using time. Um, tomatoes, of course, this one is dill and parsley. And so this just shows that it's a little pod like thing. It germinates in only days. It provides nutritious food. There's no tools or lengthy prep. So anything that is going to allow my gardening to be easier is something that I am looking forward to. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, I thought it was gonna... Ah, there's a little hole in it. Or maybe there's supposed to be a hole in it. But it doesn't quite look like this puck. But it just looks like you take it out of the plastic bag and lower the whole thing in there. To say for best results, it should be 60 degrees or higher. So this is gonna have to be planted after your last frost. It says it germinates in 10 to 20 days which is really, really great. And so I was excited to find these. So I did pick up some more, some more of these seed start pots. I do plan on starting seeds indoors this year. I do have an indoor grow light and heating pad set up. And this is really convenient because you can just lower this down in the soil. So it's not something that you have to repot. Now it is one time use, so I do have smaller pots, but I feel like getting 10 of them for $1.25 is not bad. And then it also helps you not have to keep so many pots and things for storage. Another thing that's gonna help with my storage situation is that I thought that this was really cool. This is actually compressed seed starter. And so I will usually purchase the bag of um, seed starter from the Dollar Tree because you don't want to use soil from outside inside your house to start the seeds. It can bring in bugs and fungus and things like that. So um, this looks like it is so compressed. You just break off a piece, add a lot of water, it puffs up, and this is so much easier to store and so much more convenient to store than bags of potting soil or seed starter. See, isn't that pretty cool? So I purchased, I think, four of these. But that is everything that I purchased this week from the Dollar Tree. So please do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you were most excited about from this haul, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!